a movie, said movie company gets pretty angry about it. So they blocked my video, sent me some notifications, and they were very angry with me. And I decided to take it down. So really want to talk about Resident Evil because I kind of absolutely hate that movie. And I did a fairly good job of tearing it up. And it took me a long time to put that video together. And I had to s record it and splice it all together and cut it up and trim the edges off of things and shine it up real nice. And then I had to like do an audio recording. And then I didn't like that audio recording. I had to record it again. And it was a lot of work. It took, it took five hours of my life. I'll never get back. And then I uploaded it. And then they gave me crap for it. So... <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about zombie games while playing a zombie game, or talk about zombie movies while playing a zombie game. It's going to be great, because I'm I actually, as much as I love zombies and zombie culture, zombie games are okay. Zombie movies, pretty much across the board, are awful. There's the exception. You get a, For every 28 days later, though, you get three... Hey. I can't even think of a particularly really bad one. Resi Logo of the Resident Evil Apocalypse. That, that movie was a pile of crap. So I, I know absolutely nothing about this game. Look, I need you to sign this release form before you go out there. Oh. Apparently, this man is a motocross champion. Your next kin. All I know about Dead Rising, I, I played the first one quite a bit. I never beat it. There's, the plot was a little too difficult to get to, so I didn't finish it. So, I know there's zombies. Zombies have occurred. And apparently that girl was bit, but she's cured somehow. Possibly through science. Anyways, I want to complain about Resident Evil the movie anyway, because I couldn't on that, but I can on this. And as far as I know, this isn't copyright infringement, so... Suck it, Sony Film Company. So, <clears throat> Resident Evil... It's not a terrible movie, per se. It's not... I wouldn't even say it's that bad, but it is boring. And the characters are very unforgettable, they're very bland. There's a bunch of military people that show up and then proceed to die immediately afterwards. But you don't care because they're just they just exist and they have two lines and a throwaway dialogue and then they're murdered. Uh, Alice is pretty much a terrible character. Uh, I know she's banging Paul W. S. Anderson, Mila Jovovich, that is. So she's gonna be in the movie and Paul W. S. Anderson is a hey, renowned hack. Vegas. I guess you suck at killing zombies, otherwise you'd still be around. <laughs> what an ass! <laughs> oh my gosh. He just made fun of him because his wife was dead. Good lord. <laughs> so, uh, so there's some sort of game show happening, I guess. I, I kind of know a little bit about this game. It's a few years old. Uh, it came out on Xbox Live Gold. Free to download, so can't say no to a free game. Especially, it's not a crappy uh, Xbox Live indie game like Loot Grinder was, and I'll probably do more of those. But it's fun to rag on those garbage games that people feel the need to publish. Anyways, back to Resident Evil. So, Mila Jovovich, not a good actress. Uh, she's pretty. I think she kind of looks like a boy. She's too, she's too skinny for my taste. I like my lip women a little thick. She's she's just kind of bony and skinny and, and like whatever. I, I can see why somebody be true. Michelle Rodriguez is in it, and I just hate her. She's just obnoxious, tough Latino chick. Everything she's in, she's a tough Latino chick. She's either a cop or military or drug dealer. It's just extremely typecast. Not that great. Apparently, people also find her attractive. I uh, yeah, I don't know about that. That's that's a bit of a stretch for me. That guy has the greatest mic in history. Good lord, that's amazing. That's a that's a weapon. And his weapon is also words. Get it? Is this like a pay-per-view event? Is this zombie mania? What a terrible catchphrase for a t like a TV game show. Win big! That that would be literally every game show. Oh, I think I have to do things now. One, go! Oh, right trigger goes. Alright, cool. 
Oh my gosh. Alright, we're off to a roaring good start. Oh, what have I done? I wonder if I should start taking people. What? Oh, apparently you're not supposed to ramp off of that. Yeah, suck it, Leon. Nobody even likes you. This is just like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. What the hell? How is Leon tearing it up so bad? Good gravy. Yeah, Chuck, come, coming for you, buddy. Apparently my name is Chuck. Oh, I'm in dead last. Oh, this is bad. Oh god, what has happened? Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> uh, really thought you could ramp off of the edges there. I got into Tony Hawk Pro Skater mode and things went poorly. I'm gonna keep talking about Resident Evil because I'm not done with it yet. So, one of the major problems with it is that it doesn't work as a zombie movie. There's only zombies in a scant few scenes. I'm not sure why that decision was made. I wish this guy would stop talking so loud. I'm gonna turn him down. Come on. What was your name? Tyrell? Tyrone? Ty Tyrese? Anyways. So, you don't really care when people die, which that happens a lot in zombie films, and that's... That's something that's a problem across the board. When people die, you're supposed to feel bad and not want them to die, and you're supposed to root for them. But in Resident Evil, you don't care if they die, because they're just some people. It's just like watching random bystanders walk around and occasionally talk, and you just don't feel anything when they die. You're kind of happy when the pseudo-villain, the guy that started the virus, gets killed, and he dies in a fairly grim fashion, getting chewed up and tossed around. But when people die, it's not even that gory. It really shies away from the gore, which Resident Evil's kind of known for. And that's what's really the problem with the Resident Evil film, is it completely betrays the source material. Now, whenever you ad adapt something, be it a game, a comic book, a TV show, staying true to the source material can be tricky. If you want just a straight, you know, re like redone and scene for scene, shot for shot, just redux of it. Zack Snyder's pretty good for that. I think 300 was a fairly fair adaptation, but it was, there was nothing different. If you read the book, you didn't need to see the movie because it was exactly the same. Watchmen was the same way. So that that can be problematic. I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. So I'm cool with them changing things and making it different. I was okay with a lot of the stuff they did with Spider-Man. And they change storylines, and they change some of the villains, and they change the plot around. I, that's fine. Now, when it betrays the source material, or they make bad decisions, then you're running into some problems. And uh, Spider-Man 3 comes to mind, just bad decision after bad decision involving plot and characters. Back to Resident Evil. Resident Evil's known for crazy monsters, people dying gory deaths, and survival horror. Do you know where the green room is? Now, I, I will explain why all of those three things are just completely decimated in the movie. Monsters, there's one liquor. He's the he's the final villain of the game. Oh, I gotta do stuff. This can be hard to talk while doing this, whatever. I have to follow an arrow. How do I run? Actually, what was in there? Anybody? Hello? Hey there. Is there anyone there? Is there anyone there? It's very philosophical. The height of thrilling zombie action. Apparently I can't run at this point in the game. Okay, so back back to my three main points. The zombies in Resident Evil, there's zombies, there's the liquor, and there's zombie dogs in one scene. I save in a bathroom. You save by pooping, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly how the universe works. I'm, I'm just gonna save. Just see. Oh, you don't even get to see him poop. That's disappointing. 
So there's not a lot of monsters. Even in the first game, made in 96, there were zombie plants, zombie tarantulas, there were zombie sharks, there were there was the tyrant, and he was crazy, and he had a claw, and his heart was there, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a big man, Amber. Oh, okay, that's swanky. Okay, I like it. And... The survival horror aspect of the movie is completely di dor <laughs> completely shot once there's a bunch of military members showing up. There's one scene where they're getting, you know, tracked down by zombies and people die and they're running out of ammo. And it kind of has an action, or has survival horror feel, more of an action horror, whatever. I'm not going to get into those kind of semantics, that's a bit much. But, uh... Once Alice has ninja kung fu skills and Good night. can take out that entire pack of dogs with one <laughs> clip from her handgun. Any sense of suspense or tension is just completely out of the window. You know, like it, it, the illusion of her dying is gone. You, you knew she wasn't going to die because she was main character, and that just is what makes sense. But the illusion that she was even in any danger is just completely shot, because now she's invincible. They made it even worse in the sequel films when she has superpowers. Uh, I think they eventually take away her superpowers in the movies, but god, those pots are. they're more confusing than. Katie. me trying to think of a proper analogy to explain how they're confusing. Yeah, that's all my god, that sounds good. That's, that's, that's clever. So, there's no monsters, there's no survival horror aspect, and the gory deaths. Michelle Rodriguez is bit and turns. That's all you see. The guy gets dragged into an elevator, and he presumably gets eaten alive by dozens of zombies, and you don't see any of them. One of the villains gets mauled by a liquor and bit up, but you only see like a little bit of blood here and there, and there's like blood smears. Even when they kill the liquor, they drop him underneath the train and drag him, and he catches on fire, and he's all ground up. You just kind of see fire. When I play a Resident Evil game, when I kill the final boss, I want it to ooze, and there's goop everywhere, and it, like, melts, and... Oh, things are happening. Oh, yeah, fire axe. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha. Oh, Noah. I'll save you, Alicia. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alice. <laughs> it, that's how it had to be, I'm afraid. Game really going up full Monty like right out of the gate. Oh yeah. All right. So at the very least, this game is good for what it. Oh god. What have I done? <laughs> Got any damn coffee before you uh, begin your rampage of killing zombies? Oh, sick combos. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm an unstoppable killing machine. Well, you gotta fuel up before the zombie apocalypse. Oh, sweet Jesus. Now, as for gore... What, I, what the hell? No, I need a... So you want to see the zombies, like, ooze and they're gross, and when things die, it's gross, and there's goop everywhere. I'm literally gonna die, like, out of the gate. Things are not going well for Chuck. 